nice chain, but also traded off by the rocket. Cyanid moving right into the path of Puri's rocket suit there, almost eating another couple more. But right off the lift, Cyanid will be taking the lead here, but it is a one frag lead. Cyanid at 51 62. Nice, yeah, this should be another frag for Cyanid. There we have it. And right off the spawn, shitty spawn for Puri, but he does have Hyper Blaster. Cyanid does not have enough bullets to make it happen, but. Curry going aggressive with that Hyper Blaster. A little odd there. You know, there's enough time to be making the one frag or two frags, but the more aggressive Curry goes here, you could be throwing away some really nice shots. 9-6, Cyanid's favor. Beautiful comeback here on the third map. And this is, again, Cyanid's last chance to keep this thing alive. Puri did say in the interview yesterday, though, you know, st statistically on paper, a lower player is going to be getting... He's going to be getting a, a map upset, but the chances of him getting a two map upset, not so likely. But me, I have a lot of faith in Cyanid. He has been undefeated so far in the season. Then again, so has Puri. And Puri's actually uh, lost one map against Goat. And Cyanid has been taking 2-0 uh, for every single map so far. So we'll let the numbers speak for themselves, but here we have it. Uh, Puri two maps up on Cyanid. Cyanid now four frags ahead on this third map, so I don't know, maybe Cyanid could push this into a four or five mapper. Four minutes, 20 left on the map, 10 on six. Puri has a four frag deficit to take back here. And you can see Puri's play really changing up. Uh, maybe a couple frags too late, but now Puri's play has definitely shifted gears into kind of this defensive spam out hyper blaster, spam out rail style. Uh, Cyanid is gonna be catching him off guard doing a bit of chain and that would have been a frag if Puri had missed that rail but that took a lot of the momentum out of Cyanid and we're gonna be seeing Cyanid going okay I'm four frags up now what Puri's still low on health and it looks like Cyanid's gonna go aggressive and finish him off nice rocket pop off almost with the finish and there it is 12 on 6 Cyanid has now doubled Curry score, beautiful comeback. And I will say, on these finals, I do love to see more than just a three map shutout. I mean, I won't lie, I love seeing five mappers. And catching him right into the, uh, did he say something about that? <laughs> Uh, catching him right in the elevator. Uh, Cyanid's going to be taking another frag off of that. He will be eating a rail, though, and a secondary one. So, oh, and three is going to be putting Cyanid on his back leg. Ten health left for him. Not a shred of armor. So that... Ooh. So that makes seven frags for Puri to catch up for in the last three minutes here. Uh, but if he gets the good spawns, we could be seeing a double comeback the pendulum now swinging back in Curry's favor. But here's the thing, we've been seeing Puri as this really uh, strong defensive, just kind of take the time, pace things out player in the first two maps. But here he's going to be forced into the aggressive style of play that Cyanid has so far been able to pull out here on Duel 5. Curry now at 8,100, Cyanid at 92 and 2 points of jacket armor, but he's going to be grabbing the combat. But right now I want to see what Puri is going to be up to. Two minutes left here. Cyanid's got to turtle this for all he's worth. And now with 1 minute and 40 seconds left on the map, I don't, I don't see Puri taking this one back, especially with that amount of chain. I mean, every bit of chain and rail damage that Cyanid does at this point is just going to be denying Puri the ability to just go, you know, strong forward and go super aggressive. See, there it is once again. Now Puri needs to back off. He's going to be trying to catch Cyanid here, and I'm actually kind of surprised that Cyanid did not lay the trap for Puri. But again, enough time has gone by, and Puri has lost enough opportunity here that Cyanid will be taking this map. Oof. And 
you know, I won't lie. I mean, Prue will probably get another frag or two off here. But as far as catching up, uh, I don't see Cyanid leaving this one out. <laughs> All right. Final 30 seconds here. Cyanid 14, Purry 10. Cyanid doing a beautiful comeback. Purry getting control of the map in the last couple minutes, but it was too little too late, and Cyanid got himself sufficiently far enough ahead that Purry was not able to catch it back up. So we will be seeing a 2-1 situation here. That means Cyanid will be getting one more chance here. And the maps left in the pool are Power Trip and... Q2 DM, uh, CTN2 DM3 in the rage. So there we have it. Final score is going to be 14 to 11.